This is my ND Miata. Over the last few weeks, you've seen us swap out a ton of parts in pursuit of better times on the track, better consistency at road rallies, and overall increased miles per gallon for daily driving. That's nice. It's time to determine if we have accomplished our goal of balancing its performance in all three categories. This weekend, we have a double header, a rally Saturday and the first autocross of the season on Sunday. We have fucked around, and now it's time to find out. Alright, I think we're loaded up just about ready to go. Car is pretty loaded up. We got running a GoPro wired to an external mic. Where is the mic? It's clipped on right here. Mm. Mic check, one, two, three, three, two, one. The arsonist has oddly shaped feet. We got the rally tablet, got our power distribution, got the 360 camera. We're running more cameras in different places and uh, we've also got Sky bringing the support vehicle with all the tools and she's gonna be trying to set up and run the drone at a few places. So we'll see how that goes and hopefully we can get some better angles, a little bit more variety of shots than we normally do. I think we're just about ready to go. So we can do some last checks and make sure all camera gear, batteries are charged and everything. And it's gonna be time to go actually win a rally this time. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna stop and drop off some tools we rented from O'Reilly's and then grab some food and we're on the way to the muster spot. The GoPro's not waking up. Do your job. Is the Jackery running? It should be. Because this is not charging. Did you catch it? I'll give you a second to put down in the comments what you think happened. If you guessed, the cord for that high quality mic is run along with the power cable for the tablet. And anytime the tablet is charging, it's going to cause interference and make this buzzing sound. And it's going to be like that all day, making the audio borderline unusable. You're right. You see, here at Red Hen Racing, we're visionaries. Unfortunately, our vision is dog shit. So anytime we try to go above and beyond to try something new to increase our production quality, something goes wrong and backfires on us terribly. Just know that we do care and that we are trying. We're just learning a thousand ways how not to make a light bulb. In the meantime, excuse the in-car audio for the rest of this day because I played with it in edit to the best of my ability to make it decent for you, but it, it, just, it just be like that. Now let's go cat call some geese. Look at all those chickens. Hey, hey, what kind of chicken are you? You're a fucking cobra chicken. What kind of feathers you got? It's never me or my car that I'm worried about. It's it's other people and other people's cars. And sometimes I'm like, eh, maybe state inspections aren't such a bad idea. But then I wouldn't want my own car to get inspected, so, you know. We made it to the rally point and made a quick turnaround of grabbing some footage and then setting back out to begin the rally. And we were sure to set up all of our timing devices correctly this time. This is freshly calibrated. That has not been calibrated yet. It's blatant. If you wondered why we bring three devices to run the rally app, that's why. So with one out of the three devices tracking properly, we ran the first half of the stages without too much excitement and eventually made it to the halfway break to meet up with everybody. Man, and it'd still be 1080 if I zoom in, but I don't know. What have you guys got? It's missing right now, so. You're gonna keep going, or are you gonna risk it? I think I'm gonna call it. <laughs> gonna call it? All right. I'm gonna, dri I'm gonna, gonna drive it. it back on, a, on three cylinders or something. I'm <laughs> a JDM car, so it looks cool when it sits there, but the second you start driving it. I've been driving it to work all week, too. No issues. That's, having a bad time? Yeah. yeah. That's a 4G, right? Yeah, 4063T. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Did you import it? Yeah, 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 from Canada. But I didn't, oh. I didn't ship it over, but it's not, because Canada can import it. It's a little it. less cool. Yeah. But it's still <laughs> really fucking. It's still really fucking. Cool. Really Where's my yeah. right hand? <laughs> Where's Canada, my Evo? Boy? Canada can get them at 20 years old, so they get first dibs technically. Yeah. Yeah, right hand drive, 4G 63T. 
Uh, it's basically completely stock engine, HKS air filter, uh, got a boost controller, got coilovers, running Evo 8 wheels and brakes. Uh, and that's basically it. It's pretty stock, honestly. So That's always the best part is that the brakes getting to catch up and check out other people's shit. <laughs> Look at how nice everything is compared to yours. <laughs> you see how much everybody's doing better than you? <laughs> I think we're supposed to roll soon. We're gonna roll out? Yeah. And then, just as the sun was setting, disaster struck. I get that they want to make this difficult so that you can't easily just run a rally, but at some point. But then we figured it out like the big, strong, independent men we are. We have to you know you can do it from the app. What are you talking about? Bring it over here, I'll show you. That little map, you can just click that and it'll pull up your, it'll connect and pull your GPS. What? What the fuck? What? Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I did. been didn't... doing that this whole time. That's what we were trying to it figure out. It didn't occur to me until just now. I was like, wait, are they trying to figure? They said this yeah, part we doesn't were, matter. Yeah, we were backtracking maps trying to figure no, out how to get. No, just do that. Okay, we'll get in your car and let's fucking go. All the time that we've wasted not knowing how to get to the next TC. You think at the, some that of the one night that somebody would have mentioned that, right? That one night, that would have been great. How has nobody pointed that out before? That's a really big helpful thing to tell someone. That's a thing that needs to be put out. I had no idea you could do this that. This is the third time we've done this and no one's mentioned it. So now that we're back on track, the rest of the night went off with pretty much without a hitch. Today's rally was a lot less twisty than the last couple, and with the roads being pretty much thawed out at this point, even the night sections weren't nearly as sketchy. Uh, uneventful which I mean it's lucky that it was uneventful but it's also a little boring like everything just went we only missed a couple of turns I was looking down here to see did we miss it we passed it do you see 190th uh, was that it being timed during those turns anyways. Yeah. The only couple of times we got lost were not in the middle of any stages, so we just got to see how the timing went to see if we actually did well. Dead last. We got some points, but we got a reasonable amount of points this time, so I think we'll be in the middle of the pack and don't know. I guess we'll find out. We're not going to come in last this time. I... We're going to beat Ted this time. We're fucking coming for you, Ted. I hope you fucking hear me. We're gonna kick your ass. We're you gonna beat your time. You son of a. <laughs> Pumper, not in front of the kids. Oh, sorry. I think our best place was Salisbury Hill. That was the funnest.
in the lowlands. Taking uh, film cat film photos. <laughs> you um, nerd. Was this your first one? Yes, it was. How'd it go? Oh, well, this thing was it's like fish tailing all over the place. With yeah, that. yeah. Imagine how the Miata was. Should have been on the ones a month or two ago, where, the, yeah, where this was all solid like, ice. Yeah, that she, was. She was. Saying, man, the Miata was scurpy as hell doing that. How'd the sob do? Great. All good yeah, today. That, uh, Salisbury Hill was fucking epic. Man, that was that was <laughs> that was a good time. Was going sideways. Yeah. I I have to imagine the the control point was at the top of the hill, so you had mm -hmm. to fight and fight and fight and hill climb up that thing. That yeah. was so great. Man, that was a good time. Yeah. God. That would have been even more fun if we did it when it was solid ice. We yeah, would have had fun. more people that didn't make it. <laughs> Jeez. Dude. Well, fuck. Let's go inside ice, and catch up with everybody and turn our shit in. Oh, yes, that would have beat us. Ted, 53. What are you doing wrong? Excuse me, sir. Do you have a minute to talk about how the fuck you do this? <laughs> we just got lucky. I don't you hear you've that. just gotten lucky all three times that okay. you've absolutely demolished. That? That's cap. <laughs> I, I accuse I you of capping. <laughs> first of all, first of all, that evil would have killed us if it had stayed in the game. Yeah, he only had 10 points when they dropped. I know. Not he dropped many. at the halfway point. And he, he dropped at the halfway yeah. point. The first stage, he had three points, and we had 28. Wow. Yeah. We're going to start with, we're going to give one award. The slowest finishers. We got that trophy last time. Yeah. Are there any more trophies to be given out? Because well, first place. OK. Well, I don't need to stick around for that one. Okay. We got to get home. We got to leave for autocross at 6 in the morning. So we're already not going to get home till 11. And we have to unprep from rally and prep for autocross, so we gotta hit the road. We did better this time. We didn't get all of the points, so I'll take that. We're getting there. You ready to go? 346 minutes later. So we made it to the autocross. We're already checked in, registered, and made a few adjustments to the car already. We're playing with various tire pressures and uh, we're gonna play with different damper settings, you know. Yeah, you know, we just revamped the entire suspension, so we're doing a whole shakedown and seeing what does and doesn't work. And today is not like an actual event, it's a members only practice, so we'll be able to get a lot of different runs and uh, swap parts in between runs if we need to. So, should be pretty chill, it's pretty laid back. It's not overcrowded, but there's a lot of good stuff here. Okay. Including a couple of Hellcats. So, uh, the name of the game today is Beat the Hellcat. How's it do? Yeah, that's why I got a couple bite rolls. That's how I realized yeah. <laughs> I yeah. need to do a couple upgrades, but yeah. yeah we went pretty, pretty stock suspension wise. Yep. You're not running the sway bars or anything? No, it's all stock. Cool, Everything cool. Just the, the books, graphic books. Hell yeah, man. Well, I'm in the red hardtop Miata over there, and this is supposed to be the thing that I can beat you at, so. <laughs> we'll see. So, we'll see how it fucking goes. The Hellcat on dubs was a flex I was not expecting today. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's... She's not dealing with me. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you. <laughs> is it still too early to, to deal with me? Put the top down. Put the top down. Put the top down. You can leave the windows up and the heat on, but the top's gotta be down. It's gonna be a good day. Let's get it. I have very little faith in that muffler. Looks good to me. Send it. Uh, ting, 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 ting. What's holding it up? Hopes and dreams? One extremely annoying shift later.
wish I could see you. Oh, the Hellcat ran 39.5. We're good. Honestly, man, I think you could probably uh, push it a little harder once these tires get warmed up. Once these tires warm up, I'm not confident on them right now. Not yet. But... See that one that just went by? Yeah. Go catch him. Okay. <laughs> Consumed like three cones. To show you the incredible strength of flex shot, I'm gonna blast huge holes through the bottom of that boat with this giant cannon. Ready? I don't know if it's the track temperature or what, but the rear is definitely pretty slippy. We're uh, gonna drop a couple more pounds of air out of it. Maybe try, do you think we should stiffen up the front? No, I'm pretty sure that's all driver air, bud. <laughs> There's two separate circuits set up, and I've done three of each. And yeah, I know. That one really dropping two pounds out of the rear did help some on that last run, so Seems like we'll drop a couple right. more because we're still not even really rolling up onto the sidewall. Uh, we didn't bring a paint marker with us like we should have, but you can see this mud right here that's kind of marking it. It has not rolled up onto the sidewall at all. Evo's fucking nasty. Let Summer show his handiwork. Yeah. Alex ate a couple of cones. I mean, if you're not hitting cones, you're not trying hard enough, are you? You gotta deliberately yeah. hit them on the first run just to. Just you to know. break the ice? No, you gotta give just them a show dice. of dominance. Yeah. It's a show of dominance on the track. I decided some input from a more experienced driver would be beneficial, so I grabbed Jake, who was absolutely ripping in this baby blue NA. Even though he just cracked off a better time than I had all day in my own car, a car he had never driven before, he knew there was more in it and wanted to push it a little harder. And that's when this happened. Since the car obviously had more in it than I was putting out, we traded seats and I acted like this actually was my first rodeo. With the pressure of not being showed up by somebody else in my own car, I knocked a whole second off my personal best. And since that was so effective, I grabbed yet another driver to give input on both my driving and the car's balance. So with a little more coaching and having seen where some of my slow areas were, it was time to combine it all and give her one last full send. 
I took Sky along for this one so she could see how fast I am and I could give her some of the same pointers I'd been giving these other guys all day. And with that, I was satisfied with how we did today. Alex went for one more lap, and then we hitched a ride in the Hellcats just to see how slow they were. Oh yeah. Now that we are thoroughly exhausted, we packed it up and we're heading home. And it was a great day. We made uh, a couple of new friends along the way. And overall, we had fun. It was a good day. What do you think? Well, the car far more than exceeded my expectations. It was extremely sharp, extremely responsive, and if you are not ready for something like that immediately right out of the gate like I wasn't, you're gonna be hitting every cone that you could possibly hit on that track and maybe spin out a few times. Yeah, it's, uh, it's incredibly responsive. It takes some getting used to. Like, it's, I'm really happy with this suspension setup overall. It is razor sharp. Uh, the steering wheel was nice at autocross too, having a smaller radius to whip through the slaloms instead of that school bus stock wheel, you know? Uh, that was a problem at the first autocross I ran with it was that I didn't feel like I could physically turn fast enough like because the wheel was obnoxiously large uh, I think that played a huge role in making it feel better and tighter as well it doesn't feel like a daily driver car at all at all even a little bit once you get in there and you start throwing the wheel left and right left and right it goes it feels like a race car yeah it's it's pretty great. I'm very happy with it. It's uh it's very tight. It's pretty solid. I'm happy with those sway bars. We still haven't even adjusted the sway bars at all. They're still medium front and full soft rear. All we did for autocross was uh, adjust the dampers up. It did pretty great. Uh, once we get the headers and the tune on it'll be just about fully prepped for str this year so we're already we're already most of the way there we're gonna have fun it wasn't as good for the rally anymore obviously uh it's a little st it's a little bit stiff those those rough roads on the rally were a little it got old a lot faster than it did on the stock suspension weird who could have expected that did you notice that the road conditions are astronomically worse in your car now than they were before? Yeah, you noticed that. You noticed that a lot more. Weird. There's some sounds. We should buy a couple of rally cars. We should. That sounds like something we should do. We should just buy rally cars. What are you gonna get? Life's too short to drive a Kia. So we both just went and bought our low budget dream cars. Neither of us have seen each other's cars yet. What's it gonna be? It could be anything. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. I want you to see what I've got. It's hard to tell what that is. Is that a 